point of this video is that she is trying to get attention. You see it? Skating towards the guys, spreading her legs. Boom. Looking back. And you see one, two, three, four, five guys not paying attention to her. Okay. If I have ladies watching, the point of me playing this is to let the women know you're pretty much screwed for the most part now. Why are you screwed? Because women over the past couple of years have done so much for attention from getting naked, talking sexy, talking sleazy, being slutty, using your sexuality to get ahead, doing goofy shit for attention, that men have seen so much of it that they are desensitized to it. And I say it all the time. This is why I feel sorry for women. It's because women have reached a pinnacle of where they cannot do the same things for attention anymore. The power doesn't work. What do I mean? Women think their looks control men. No. That fact that a man wants to sleep with you will control a man. Not your looks. But when men have became desensitized to wanting to sleep with a woman, her entire power is gone. Women are losing their power day by day by day. And the men that they have power over are mentally ill. What do I mean by that? If you're still simping nowadays with all of this knowledge out here, with, from Kevin Samuels, the red pill, to, to Andrew Tate, to everything that's happening in the world, men have waken up and they've waken up a lot. The only ones that are still sleeping out here and still think that there's a potential of them being with the right woman are simps that are mentally ill. They're the only ones that's still falling for, these, for this gimmick. Most of the guys are going to be just like the guys back here in the background where they done seen her, spread her legs, coming in for some attention. Look at them. They don't even care. The guys don't even care at all because they're desensitized to it. Men know how to master pleasing themselves now. There's no reason for them to go and approach women. And that's where women have made their mistakes. You're going to have way more men that are going to be approaching women less and less and less and less. And this is what's going to cause the trigger effect. This is when Isaiah 4, chapter 1. Hold on. Let's, let, let, hold on. Let me pull it up. It says it right here. Okay. In that day. In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, only to let be called by your name to take away our reproach. Okay, this is what women are about to go through. You can pay your own bills, you can get your own apparel, you can get your own food, but you're about to beg a man to be with you. That's the next level of life to where we are headed towards that women don't get that you've desensitized men. You're still grouping together with your girls and having a good time because that's what women are, are, are masters at. They're masters at disguising how they really feel underneath. But when you start seeing men become literally desensitized to women that are doing things for attention, this is sad on the women's end. Because now you're going to feel more insecure. This is what caused them to do it is when men are not getting attention. Now, when you're doing the most to get attention and you're still not getting it, then that's where depression is going to kick in. And women, this is what you need to pay attention to right here. It's a simple fact that no matter what you do, now these guys are less responsive to it. They didn't even look at her. And she wanted the attention. That's why the camera's behind her. They didn't even look at the fact that there's a camera behind her. All right? That's just food for thought. You do the dishes. Let's go to the next. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Okay, now here we have Kevin Gates gets exposed by a trans woman for allegedly sleeping with a transgender model. I'm not, I'm not like, like, so he, he came, came and he was like, like let's, let's go, go to dinner. dinner. And I was like, okay, just like text me where. Like kept it really cool. Um, and he sat down, he had like four phones. He was saying like El Chapo was watching me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> like cool. He had a El Chapo was a gang or was El No, El Chapo. <laughs> this is the problem here. A lot of guys out there that are still in feminine energy, you're going to start to be attracted towards trans men. And the reason why you're going to be attracted towards a trans man is because that's probably going to be something easier for you to get. A trans man's battling so many insecurities that once that female energy take over you, 
you would automatically be attracted to that. That's what's happening with Kevin Gates. Ever since Kevin Gates got out of prison, he's been a little bit on the motherfucking zesty side. He's been on the zesty side. People be talking like, oh, he has positive energy. No, a man is supposed to be a man. There's certain ways that men are going to make um, certain things that men are going to say and do. You have to understand that. Your masculinity is the key to your survival. All right, let's get back to it. And, and we, we were, were in his, his car. car. He was playing me his new album. He was on Instagram Live. And in my brain, I'm like, dude, he shows me on live. And I'm like, ugh, I just know one of like the fans from Iowa, like where like, I'm from. That like, is a dude. Yeah, like that's a back in the mail. Um, <laughs> and it was just one of those situations where I almost felt like I was like, at like lunch with my or like in trouble with my principal mm -hmm. like I felt like he was literally looking so deep into like my soul and my like nine different holes that like I didn't even know what I was getting into I tried caviar for the first time that was cute mm -hmm. it, it was hot he asked like do you want to come home with me he was kind of just like get in my car and they just I mean that's how they, that's how they always are no, you don't they don't ask you go no. yeah you just go, go. Yeah, you okay. just follow the rules and I, I don't know he's all about like energy like ashwagandha yeah. like the whole fact and I told him I was trans like mid like spread eagle like flap scars and all like i literally how did you like how did like how did you bring that honestly like, i was just what yeah, yeah i'm like i'm squirting he's like no you're not <laughs> 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 um <laughs> you guys have to realize when i tell you that i walked away from hollywood for a reason i walked away from hollywood for a reason because this is the normal shit behind the scenes Trans is the normal shit behind the scenes. Sex is the normal thing. Drugs is the normal things. Emotional things are the normal things behind the scenes. Why? Because these are the type of people that run the industry. I've literally seen execs that were men in the day and they were women at night. And people adjust as if it's cute. So when you get caught up in feminine energy, feminine energy would take over you. She's sitting here talking about it freely. And Kevin Gates knows that this is probably true because he's somewhat on that zesty side. Trust me, when they get these drugs in their system, they get a little bit of alcohol in their system and their horny levels start to shoot up through the roof. This is what you're going to get. A lot of these dudes going to be fuck it because they're desperate. This is why I say a lot of dudes that are caught in feminine energy, it's just a matter of time before you cross over to that LGBT side because the LGBT side is the only side you're going to be able to relate to. A lot of men don't realize it till they get to 40. They start off in their 20s. Oh, I hate women and I don't want to be with women and women are this and women are that. And they keep that up for about 10, 20 years. And then at some point, it's just, uh, I really want some booty. I really want to feel love. Well, there's the trans. They need your attention as much as you want to give it. No. Oh, my God. You guys kill me. Um, but no, I was literally, I'm not kidding, like spread eagle. I think mean, he was like me out or something. And then in my brain, he like stopped and I'm like. Oh, oh he, he knows my clit looks different. Like fuck. <laughs> like I was like fuck. Uh, what's about yeah, happening? No he was like, yeah, no. <laughs> He's not Think about it. She got the operation. He or she? He she got the operation, and he was still trying to eat that out because he looked at it like, oh, that's different. She don't feel anything. One thing about it: once you go trans, what they don't tell you is you can't have sex. It's almost virtually impossible for you to have sex. They, that's what they don't tell you about being a trans. You would never be able to have sex at all. It's because a man's organs is completely different than a woman's organs. Women's lower bodies are designed to push out a baby. It's designed to be more flexible, not a man. That's why when you guys are watching porn and you're saying, how is she taking down a 10-inch dick in her pussy and she's getting double penetrated by a 10-inch dick in her booty hole and she got one in her mouth? It's because women don't feel that pain. The reason why they don't feel their pain is because their bodies are like elastic. Why? Because it's designed to push out a baby. That's the difference. Her body is designed to prepare for it. Men would never be able to give birth. Why? Your organs and your body and the makeup of your body is not designed to create life like a woman. That's the difference between the two. Women hormones decides their personality, decides their moods, decides how they feel for that moment. It's not like that with a man. When a man is in masculine energy, he's only going to have two emotions. And that's either going to be happy or sad. And he's going to be able to control the sad emotion because he's going to learn to tough it out. 
A masculine man is not fearing pain. He's ready to go through the pain in life. The more pain he goes through in life, the more, the less painful it is in life. When it goes to a woman, she cannot control her moods. She can't control her strength because of her emotions in the body and what her body is designed to do. When it comes to a woman, her body is designed to intake DNA. This is why the more upset a woman gets, the more showers she needs. Women are always tell you, I got to go take a shower. She has a bad day. I got to go take a shower. Oh, I had a bad morning. Let me go take a shower. You know why? Because their body's constantly collecting dirt. It's constantly collecting um, DNA. A woman's body is like a chemist set. This is why they always got to go to the doctors and get checkups. Check up on pH, pH balances. This is why certain times of the month she's going to bleed, which is why a lot of these guys have to understand when you're in a relationship with a woman, you must understand her time of the month and understand certain times she's going to be moody. We are two different people. The moment your emotions tell you that you guys are the same is emotions is the day that you become mentally ill. This is a form of mentally illness. No, 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 this man an oxygen tank. Um, but he was like, can I ask you something? And I go, yeah. And he was like, well, are you trans? And I go, you I, and I was just <laughs> like, I was so drunk. Like, like, come like, on. They're like, what makes you see that idea? And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I was laying there and I go, you're now you notice the whole time Kevin didn't know. So now he's starting to ask her. Okay, this is what's going to get a lot of guys fucked up in the game when they try to transition and then they're going to try to hide it. That's the problem. They're going to do it like fat chicks do online. They're going to talk to you all the time and they're going to hope when you guys meet up and you see them, you don't go running away. Because they're going to hold a good ass conversation. They're going to make you feel good while y'all are text messaging. They're going to make you feel good throughout the day. You at work texting her. You're at the gym texting her. And this is your online mate. And then all of a sudden you're about to go meet up with that girl. And then when you meet up with her, she's looking fat and sloppy. Well, this is what trans are going to do. They're going to go longer periods without telling the, the person that's trying to get with them that they're trans. Because they're hoping if I build a connection with this guy. That when he finds out I'm trans, he's not going to want to, he's still going to want to be with me and he's going to accept me for who I am. But in most cases, most guys are not going to accept that. That's about to be a big problem in the United States. <laughs> Moral of the story is a lot of guys get caught up in this. And you have a one, let me go, Sydney Star. When you go Sydney Star, she ended Chingy's career. This little boy transitioned into this. This is Sydney, Sydney Star. She has ended plenty of celebrities' careers. This is a man, a man that has ended career. This guy was married to Karen, to, uh, Karen Stevens. And then ended up messing around with this. This is a trans that's very known in the hip hop industry that dudes be dating. That dudes are dating. You have to realize the trans women are starting to dress better than regular women. They're starting to look better than regular women. You guys need to be careful out here in these streets because these streets is not going to be a joke at all. This is what we're headed towards. Look at the little boy. Look at him now. That's what we're headed towards.